What is up guys, Sky here again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to manually enter grades into your D2L course shell gradebook. Now there are a few ways you can do this, and it really is up to you on what you find to be the most efficient method. So here on our course homepage, we're going to want to go up here to grades and click. And we'll be immediately met with our class list and their grades, if you've already put any in. Now I'd like to preface this by saying these are just test names, these are not real students in this course, they're just for the purposes of demonstration. So the first thing I want to show you is how to put in several grades at once using the spreadsheet view. So what we're seeing right now is known as the standard view. If you go up here to the top and click switch to spreadsheet view, that will bring up a slightly different screen you'll see these little boxes in which you can input grades. So if you have all of the grades there in front of you and you know what they should be, you can go down the line here and start inputting grades for all of your students. Now, before you click Save, I want to stress that once you click Save, these grades will be published to the students. So it is imperative that you make sure everything is accurate and ready to go for students to see because once you click save they will see them. For now I'm gonna leave it unpublished. So I'm gonna go back up here and click switch to standard view. That's gonna prompt me if I want to save which I don't. And so back here on the standard view there's a couple other things you can do. Um, you can view submissions, you can view discussion posts and grade those things. But the next thing that I want to show you is how to grade an individual student's different assignments. So maybe you have a student that has some late submissions or for whatever reason you just need to grade them individually. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Tom Hanks here and it's going to bring up all of this information but we're going to scroll down here to grade items and now you can see all of the grade items that we have in our gradebook right now and they have places where we can start inputting those scores if we so choose. Once again if you hit save and close it will publish those so be careful um, and make sure everything's accurate before you hit save and close. I'm going to go back to grades though. And so that's how you are able to input grades for an individual user. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to grade an item or a category all at once. So if you joined us for a previous video you'll remember when we created the test grade item and test category here. If you want to grade all based on the test grade item for each individual student, you can click this drop down arrow here and go to enter grades. That's going to bring up the entire class list with options for you to enter grades for your students if you so choose to do it that way. Like I said, it is really up to you what you find to be the most efficient. If you like grading all in the spreadsheet view, you can. If you like going by each individual grade item, that is fine too. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel and don't save. And then lastly, if you want to grade by category, you can click the button there and click enter grades. And now you'll see all of the grade items in that category with areas where you can enter grades, just like if you were grading per grade item. And so we're going to go back here to this view and one thing I'd also like to add is that you can collapse these categories if you've finished entering grades and you want a cleaner view. This little minus symbol here will collapse that category so you can see the rest of your gradebook. One other thing to keep in mind is that you can also enter grades right from the tool of that particular type of grade item. So for example, if you want to enter grades right from the quiz tool, for quizzes that your students took, you can enter it there as well. You don't have to go right to the gradebook every time. It is, like I said, up to you. That's really all there is to it as far as entering grades into the gradebook. If you have any questions or any issues with this because it can get a little bit complicated, you can always email us at onlinehelp at okcu.edu and we'd be happy to help you set up your gradebook, grade items, whatever it is.